Hi guys, this is Trayvon from XboxPCInformer.com here with my iPhone uh, 4. Uh, this iPhone is jailbreaked. I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak it. I know a lot of you guys that have um, build 5.0 or higher has been having a lot of trouble because I had a lot of trouble when I went and tried to find a jailbreak for this. So I'm gonna, just going to show you guys really quick that my iPhone is jailbroken. Let's okay and uh, sorry about that there's Cydia and I'm on search there in Cydia it's downloading um, my pack as you can see right there it is Cydia you go home and there it is. So, yeah. so now, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone um, 5.0 build or higher. Let me just show you guys too that I ha I do have I um that uh pack um 5.0 uh about. So there's my version there. 5.0 version. Bam. So now let's go ahead and show you guys how to do it. All right. So, so you guys, I restored my um, iPhone. So you see, there's no Cydia there. None. So now I'm going to run through the process with you guys on how to um, jailbreak your iPhone. So I'm just gonna um, put my iPhone down here uh, for a minute. Uh, now this does work on any version of Red Snow. I made sure of that. I'm using the newest version of Red Snow. So I'm just gonna extract it, open it, run it. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit extras, select IPSW. Um, now I'm gonna show you guys some of these IPSWs don't work for an uh, iPhone or any uh, Apple product with 5.0 or higher. So as you can see, it says IPSW is not supported. That's one of them that doesn't work. IPSW is not supported. But I do have one that is supported here. Bam. The following build was identified. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit back, jailbreak. It's passing the kernel. And just iPhone just just holding it make sure it's plugged in um, to the computer I'm just gonna install Cydia so I'm gonna hit next I'm gonna hit next on my iPhone I'm gonna hold it down for 30 seconds now I'm gonna hold the home button and the power button all together for a total of 10 seconds now now I'm gonna let go of the power button and still hold the home button until it shows that it's uh, pushing or exploding Okay, now I just let go of the iPhone. Don't touch anything. Don't hold anything. Um, I will show you. It's going to be blank. It's going to wait while I boot. It's booting up. You'll see this screen here. Downloading jailbreak data. Just let it go. Uploading kernel. Rebooting. Now this is going to happen. It's normal. This is how it gets jailbroken. It's not doing anything with your information. All your apps that you downloaded before you jailbreak broke it will still be on there. Now as you can see it says in Red Snow that's done. So Red Snow has nothing else to do with your uh, jailbreaking process. Everything happens on the iPhone. Bam, once you see this, you know it's installed, it's jailbreaking. This can vary depending on uh, your iPhone. That was actually a pretty fast um, boot there, or install there. Now it's gonna reboot it regularly in Apple.
Um, please keep in mind that this is a tether boot, um, which means you have to plug it into your computer every time you want to reboot it into uh, the jailbreak mode. Um, you, there are some videos on YouTube that um, have it where you it's semi tethered, which means you don't have to plug it into your computer. But with that said, you can't use the city or anything. So it's booted up here. Let's go ahead and slide it open. And as you can see, my apps are still there, and so is Cydia. Now Cydia is white, so that means it's not working. I can click on it, and it won't go. And also, Safari is not working either. Oh, wow. That's the first time Safari didn't crash. Okay. But anyways, this is how you get rid of that. You just go back to Snow on your computer. You select the same um, IBSW. IPSW, sorry. Now, you just go just boot. You got to do this every time you want to reboot it. Now you hold it down for three seconds. Again, ten with the power button and home button. Now you can let go of the power button. Keep holding the home button. Now you can let go, and everything happens in red snow until uh, you see something on your iPhone. Now this will this is your loading screen. This is how you know that you're loading in jailbreak. You would see the pineapple instead of the apple. And uh, this can vary um, in loading uh, time. It's done. You heard that. That means it's done. It just taking time to process. And I can slide it open here. And let's go over to Cydia is available there. And just to show you that it's working, I'm gonna tap Cydia. Preparing system files gotta make sure that it prepares those files don't hit anything just let um, it prepare, prepare the files Uh, the time for this can vary. This is actually the longest time I have. Okay, now it says storage almost full. Can mer you can manage storage settings? Okay, so just go to settings. And um, I have 5.9 gigabytes of storage left on my iPhone. And um, Cydia and Cydia files are um, prepared. Now, when I open it. I can just scroll right on over to Cydia and open Cydia. Uh, you pick the user that you are. You're a user, hacker, or developer. Different ones um, have different abilities. For my sake, I'm just going to put user. I can always go back and you know change it if I want. I uh, hit done. 
wait till it's done loading all this stuff and Cydia is in there you are officially jailbroken and um, just keep checking our website subscribe to us uh, Xbox PC Informer um, I'm gonna play around with some of the uh, apps and stuff that you can use in Cydia and I'll make videos on them and they, uh, the files and everything will also be posted on our website I'll put a link in the description uh, and thank you for watching this video